I will go to my father's mansion. They will don't insult me. And if you don't let me tell you, if they allow me and you inside the room, I will pregnant to you, Joma. They will not torment. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and all you humor enthusiasts out there, it's time to unleash the laughter and let those funny bones flex. Get ready for a rollicking ride through the world of comedy as we present the top 10 funniest movies in Africa. From the heartwarming antics of beloved characters to the side splitting humor that transcends borders, these films are sure to tickle your funny bone and leave you in stitches. <laughs> they do not call me Die Hard for nothing. Before we begin, please hit that like and subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when we post the new videos. Thank you. Number 10. Number 10 spot we have Who Killed Captain Alex that was released in 2010. This 2010 Ugandan action comedy directed by Nwabana Isaac Jeffrey Godfrey is a viral sensation from the ultra low budget studio Wakali. It's a Wakali would feed him more in Kampala, Uganda. With a reported budget of under $200 or $85 as clarified later, this no budget action film gained fame after a YouTube trailer released in January 2010. Followed by the full film in March 2010, amassing over 8.9 million views by November 2023. The surviving version features English speaking video joker commentary. Yeah, 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 okay. Tighten your seat barrel. Adding humor to the charming, so bad it's good movie. Loved by both critics and audiences. Drop the bomb, man! Number 9 I will shout! Stop shouting! I will shout! I will shout! At number 9 we have Dumebi. Dumebi tells the appropriate tale of an uncapped village woman named Dumebi who found herself in a sticky situation. Frank, the man who got her pregnant, left her to fend for herself and the drama unfolds from there. Desperate to find Frank, Dumebi embarks on a journey to the city but leaves her baby in a taxi along the way. Unexpected hero going house to house in pursuit of Dumebi to return the baby safely. When Dumebi and Frank finally reunite, their relationship takes a comedic turn as Frank tries to mold Dumebi into a city girl. Dinner dates reveal her clumsiness. Why you shouting at me? Why you shouting at me? Because I make mistake and call spandenty white wall. That's why you shouting at me. But their connection remains strong, primarily based on their intimacy. However, their laughter-filled journey takes an unexpected turn when Frank's successful girlfriend returns from the United States after a two-month vacation. To maybe is a rip-tickling comedy that keeps you in stitches from start to finish, making it a must-watch in our list of the top ten funniest African movies. Number eight. Here is your girlfriend. Hey! At number 8 on our list is Baby Police. Now picture this, a little guy who looks nothing like a real cop, pulling over unsuspecting drivers. He even recruits folks who look more the part. But his hilarious caper takes a wild turn when he dances his way out of trouble. during a confrontation with real officers. In the movie, this troublemaker named Dada goes from pranks in the village to trying his hand at being a fake prophet in the bustling city of Lagos. He manages to scam people into ridiculous situations, like undressing for an exorcism. Yeah, yeah pull off. The ultimate twist comes when Data swingles his uncle's money and hands it over to some shady characters who promise to multiply it. <laughs> Dada, why? Why, Dada, why? This why? is business. This is my sweat. I know, but I did business. Shut up. When he finally checks what's in the box, it's no riches but a collection of his own failed scams. And that's how Baby Police becomes a hilarious roller coaster of a movie. Number seven. Number seven on our list brings us the uproarious South African comedy. 
Mad Bodies, released in 2012 and directed by Craig Hoffmeyer. This film stars Leon Schuster, Kenneth Corsi, Tenet Phoenix, and Alfred Dombella. It's a laugh out loud journey that takes inspiration from classic Jamie Hughes films, where adversaries find themselves in hilariously awkward situations. In Mad Bodies, we meet two enemies, Booty, Leon Schuster, and Beast Kenneth Corsi, who are unwittingly thrust into a wild road trip as part of a new TV reality show devised by the TV producer Kelsey, played by Tenet Phoenix. With the whole of South Africa watching and in on the joke, the duo faces comical obstacles at every turn of their journey. As the adventure unfolds, Booty and Beast realize they've been conned and decide to team up to exert their revenge. Mad Bodies is a rip-tickling ride of chaos and comedy where enemies become allies in their quest for payback. Number 6 At number 6 you have Green Snake. Green Snake is a side-splitting comedy where Abruka the houseboy and Ijoma the boss's daughter engage in an escalating prank war. Their hilarious rivalry begins with swapped stickers. You don't know the difference between sugar and salt. I'm sorry for you. I'm sorry for you. And stolen food leading to outrageous antics. Ijama spikes Abruka's meal with alcohol, causing a comical uproar. <laughs> and he retaliates by sparking her food with marijuana. This lands Ijoma in the hospital, but she returns with a vengeance. Abruka's mouth gets glued shut. Good morning, sir. Hey, in my own personal house, you don't want to greet me. Say good morning, my friend. And Ijoma even wires his door handles to give him a shocking surprise. Green Snake is a laugh out loud comedy that takes pranks to the extreme. It's a non stop roller coaster of humor you won't want to miss. Number 5. Number 5 brings us There's a Zulu on my stoop. Now, a Zulu on my stoop, also known as Yankee Zulu, directed by Craig Hoffmeyer and released in 1993. This South African comedy became the country's highest grossing film. Starring Leon Schuster and John Matsikiza. The movie follows two former friends, one white and one black, who reunite as adults after winning a lottery ticket. They are pursued by a racist organization, leading to a comical adventure. While the film achieved box office success, it has received criticism for its slapstick humor and handling of racism including the use of blackface and whiteface. Yankee Zulu offers a unique perspective on South Africa's history and is known for its controversial elements, but it remains a culturally significant and entertaining comedy. Number 4 at number 4 we have Mr. Ibu. Mr. Ibu is a side-splitting comedy. Mr. Ibu and his son are constantly at odds with their quirky clashes. In a memorable moment, Mr. Ibu nearly drowned while trying to impress a beauty by the pool. And his son comes to the rescue, earning a rare thank you. But thank you. Mr. Ibu's career history is marked by one-day jobs and even a failed car repair business. God, God, why now? Why do you give me this kind of thing? Yeah? He auctions off his son to get adopted by a nice family, but still manages to cause chaos. When they reunite, their scuffles continue. One day, Mr. Ibu misunderstands wash and wear pants, washing and wearing them while wet. The result is a comical strut in soggy trousers. Mr. Ibu is a laugh out loud comedy filled with hilarious misadventures between father and son. It's a non stop source of laughter and should not be missed. Number three. <laughs> Number three of Mr. Bones, a 2001 South African comedy directed by Gray Hoffman, starring with Leon Schuster. The film cleverly contrasts African tradition with ambition and greed in modern South Africa, using humor to play with racial stereotypes. The story starts in Kuvukile, a southern African kingdom 
with Mr. Bones growing up to become the bone throwing prophet. When King Tong along for a male heir, he sends Mr. Bones on a comical mission to find a long lost prince from Sun City. Mr. Bones is a classic South African comedy filled with humor, tradition, and adventure. It's a must watch in our list of the top 10 funniest African movies. Number 2. And number two, we have Aki Naukwa, the film that introduced us to the famous duo of Aki and Popo. These two equally mischievous troublemakers play pranks on their teacher, Miss Koi Koi. Miss Koi Koi! Miss Koi Koi! Which one is Miss Koi Koi? And try to sabotage their father's romance with her. When their tricks backfire, their father sends them to live with their strict ex soldier uncle, Pelitus O'Connor. Belitus Ogonos, the son of Ogonos Diribe. But they continue causing chaos wherever they go. The film is filled with pranks, misadventures, and comical mayhem, making it a classic comedy that showcases the hilarious antics of Aki and Popo. Now at the top of our list is the classic 1980 comedy film, The Gods Must Be Crazy. Written, produced, and directed by Jamie Hughes. The story is set in Southern Africa and follows the, a Kalahari desert hunter, Gadara, who encounters a glass Coca Cola bottle dropped from an airplane. Believing it's a gift from the gods, his journey to return the bottle becomes intertwined with the lives of a biologist, a village school teacher, and guerrilla terrorists. This South African and Botswanan co-production became a record-breaking hit upon its release, making it the most successful South African film at the time. It garnered critical acclaim worldwide, but it faced some criticism for its portrayal of race and its perceived ignorance of South Africa's apartheid. In 1984, the film was re-released in the United States where its original Afrikaans dialogue was dubbed into English. The Gods Must Be Crazy inspired a sequel in 1989, continuing the hilarious adventures of Lee. This iconic film series is a beloved classic and a significant part of African cinema history. And there you have it, the top 10 finest African movies that will keep you laughing from start to finish. Have you seen any of these films? Share your favorites in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more entertaining content. Thanks for joining us on this hilarious movie journey. And we'll see you in the next video.